Last month, I gave each of my friends a disposable camera and challenged them to get the best photo in two weeks. I love that challenge so much that I decided to take it a step further. So my best friend Jake and I taped over the cameras on our iPhones. To avoid any temptation, we need to put masking tape over the lenses. And only use disposable cameras for 30 days. Portrait mode, no. Photo mode, no. Video mode, I think not. All right, 30 days, disposable cameras only. This is either gonna be really fun or really awful. <laughs> So I'm in Hawaii right now visiting my friend Grayson. I'll be here for 10 days going on hikes, going swimming, and hopefully capturing some good disposable photos. I got this waterproof disposable camera. No clue if they're gonna turn out nice. Today we're gonna try surfing on a two-person kayak. So this is the hike that I have wanted to go on since sophomore year of high school, and it's way better than I ever expected. So we ended up climbing down the stairs because we wanted to see what was at the bottom, but I'm really regretting it now. Look at how fucking far we went. I have no idea what it is right there. Oh, it's turning away, it's turning away. <laughs> Dude, it was, it was coming towards us for a second. I was like, oh, fuck. Okay. Okay. It's time to go back. Yeah, let's get going. Are you gonna try to swing on that? It's gotta be a bad idea, right? Oh my God. Make sure to smile. So we found a bridge in the middle of the forest. We got super muddy, climbing up to it. So why only use a disposable camera for 30 days? Today we've become so accustomed to taking 50 different photos of the same thing and then choosing the best one to post. People literally spend hours going through photos and editing them until they're perfect and ready to post. But with a disposable camera, you don't have that option. You have to live in the moment. That's what this 30 day challenge was about. It was meant to slow life down and capture true emotions and honest moments. All right, we made it to Seattle. We're waiting for Taylor to pick us up. Look who it is. <laughs> hey, Andrew, how cool is it that when we want to take a beautiful shot of this view right here, that it's just blue? Oh, yeah, <laughs> it's super cool. Uh, Yeah, it's pretty cold. It's pretty cold. Since we shot over the course of the month, I found myself not remembering a lot of the photos I snapped. So when it came time to develop the film, it felt like Christmas morning. It sounds cliche, but in a world where everything moves so fast and gives you instant gratification, disposable cameras slow things down and give you a reward for your patience. The photos are raw. There's no editing, there's no retakes, and to me, that's beautiful. It's a pretty cool surprise. Oh wow, that's way cooler than I thought. So we got like three hours until our flight back home. So we're in Seattle taking a few disposable photos. 
<laughs> oh, you actually had yeah, some in there. This is the last one. I made such a stupid <laughs> face. This is the last round. The heart is heaven. This is gross. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> Three away from a free regular car wash. No. Come on, I'm don't good. touch that. Don't touch that. Oh my gosh. Real quick guys, we have to talk about this video's sponsor. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to build beautiful websites and run your business. With Squarespace, it's so incredibly easy to build a blog, online store, portfolio website, whatever your website needs are, Squarespace has you covered. Like for this video, I wanted to share my favorite disposable photos with my friends so they could download them. So it was so quick and easy to choose a template, upload all of our photos, and create a beautiful looking blog post for everyone to enjoy. Squarespace has tons of sleek and intuitive templates for you to build a professional looking website in a matter of moments. Seriously, it took us like a few minutes to make that blog post. So if you want to go see all the photos that we took during our 30 day challenge, as well as some other behind the scenes articles from other trips we've gone on, that's all up on our website, venture.com. So if you're ever looking to create a website, go to squarespace.com to start your free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Andrew Levitt to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. All right, now back to the video. There were also some repercussions for not being able to use my iPhone's camera. Over the last decade, the majority of my memories have been captured on my phone. It's a great tool for saving a memory or a feeling forever. I found the limitations of 27 photos per camera left me constantly constantly asking myself, is this shot worth it? If I were to continue to do this challenge for longer, I would worry that without quick access to my camera, I would miss a lot of moments and forget parts of my life. Also, simple utilities like depositing a check or scanning a QR code were no longer available. And I found myself missing the ability to send Snapchats to friends or capture Instagram stories. And there's always this scenario where you can lose a camera. So I messed up this weekend and I left my disposable camera somewhere at a restaurant. I'm not sure, but I need to call around right now and see if I can find it. Hey, how's it going? I was wondering if you guys had uh, a disposable camera. Um, I haven't seen one. Uh, we definitely keep an eye out. Okay, yeah, no worries. Just wondering if there's something laying around. Oh no. I mean, luckily it was like the roll just started, so there's maybe like 10 photos taken on that, but that's such a bummer because, I mean, when you lose your phone, it's usually a little bit easier to find and get back, but if you lose a disposable camera, <laughs> you just kind of lose your photos. Like, it's not backed up to the cloud at all. Nothing, it's just gone. I lost a disposable camera, and so I feel like I'm showing up to class not doing my homework because I only have two rolls. Look how much hurt. higher of a stack you have than me. So should we uh... Yeah, it's officially time. All right. We're ripping off the tape, covering up our, our cameras. Oh, should we make sure this is too late? <laughs> <laughs> it's off. It like fucked it up or something. Yeah. That's what I'm, I'm checking. I, I was wondering the same thing. Oh, Let's see if it works. Oh yeah. Once again, I was blown away after seeing all of our photos for the first time. There's just something so special about disposable photos that iPhones can't capture. One interesting thing I realized is I would normally never take this many photos in a month. But because I always had a disposable camera ready in hand, I was encouraged to take more photos, making this one of the most colorful and memorable months in a long time. That's so funny. <laughs> That's that's a good ass photo. That's a sick photo. That's when we swam out to Chinaman's Hat. Wow. So today is the last day of our 30 day disposable camera challenge. I can't say that I'm gonna miss having my iPhone's camera taped over too much, just because there's so many instances where I wanted to get a quick photo or get a quick video of what was going on and I wasn't able to do that. I would say that the photos that we got over this 30 day challenge are so much more special than any iPhone photo I could have taken. 
Usually after a trip like Hawaii, I have a camera roll full of 150 different photos. None of them really stand out and there's a ton of repeats. But this time I had a physical stack of photos that felt like individual memories of my life. In the end, I loved this 30 day challenge. I would love using disposable cameras. And I think in the future from now on, I'm not going to go as crazy as taping over my iPhone's camera but I'll always have a disposable camera on me, ready to capture a photo. 